Good morning, everyone. It's Yvonne here to do your uh, Saturday, uh, Saturday the 27th. What's cracking for Saturday? Um, ooh, so your monthly videos are all up now, so you can go back and watch your November videos. They, I did them all last night. Um, and I'll do the weekly tomorrow, so you don't miss out on them. I want to say thank you to everyone who's subscribed to my channel. Sorry, I'm a little bit tired this morning. <laughs> I hopped on without waking up first, which is, I've got a cup of tea, but we haven't had a mouthful yet. Um, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and all your lovely comments. I Look, it's such a funny thing for me because I sit here every time feeling like some of your comments about, you know, feeling like I'm just talking to you. Can I say to you, I don't think about talking to thousands of people either. When I do these readings, I'm just sitting feeling like I'm right in front of you giving you a reading. So I'm loving every moment of it. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, you know the dealio. Love to have you on board. You know, if it doesn't resonate with you, no point in commenting, <laughs> fruitless, futile, move on. Um, find another reader who does resonate with you. Look, as I say many, many times, some days I listen to three or four readers who are absolutely amazing readers and their readings don't resonate. And I'm like, there are times when I, I just don't bother listening because nothing resonates that day or that week. So, and then other times I listen and everything resonates. So, just the way of the world, people. Okay, I am using the Thelema Tarot and we can get cracking here. Saturday, eh? I've got a, a fair on today, a merry meet, which is a medieval fair. So, I'll do readings there. And then tomorrow, um, I do readings on a boat, <laughs> like a paddle wheeler. Okay, beautiful. Oh, how lovely is that? My favourite ace. Ace of Swords. How beautiful. Someone's getting a truth today. Someone's stepping forward to open up and tell someone how they're feeling. For a lot of you, there's a brand new start here. Um, one that has clarity and is open, opening for you. Um, it could be that in order to move forward now, you've had to cut something out of your life. So for some of you, this new start is about having to say goodbye to something, someone, some situation. Um, but beautiful, brand new start here. I love the Ace of Swords. Always makes me feel so good because I feel like, you know, it's like discarding stuff of the past. It's cutting away the crap and it's moving forward. And for me, this is the best Ace. I love all the other Aces, but for me, this just says it all. It's about living in your truth. It's about no longer putting up with stuff. Best Ace. Okay, so we have the Judgment card coming out here first. Now, the Judgment card talks of second chances, rising from the ashes. It's like the phoenix being rebirthed. Um, beautiful card in this deck, which shows an angel offering you something, maybe fairy dust of some kind, but it's it, she's got the... Um, the, I don't know what they portray as, but it's like a horn and it's like the calling here. It's like you're being called by the universe to move forward. Um, but very often it's a chance to do something again, um, chance to redo something beautiful. So you've got a chance to have a second go at something you didn't get right before. Oh my goodness, what a beautiful reading this morning. Um, the sun is here too. So something's happening for everybody today. It's a brand new start, you've got a new chance at something you haven't done well before or that you can do better this time. And then we have the sun, which as you know is joyful, happiness, it's beautiful. Um, oh, holy dooly, and then the justice card. Something is coming in today to give you an opportunity to balance things out. Three major arcanas, holy dooly, three major arcanas and an ace of swords. Like really, for a Saturday morning. I don't know if I have enough energy to do that today. <laughs> but I'd happily welcome it in. A brand new start would just be perfect, especially a second chance at something in the sunshine. Um, so Justice Card um, talks of 
being able to balance things out again. Something's not right in the universe here. Something, so for some of you, there's a new new start, something that was left unfinished here. Um, maybe some closure coming in, um, chance to balance things out, have your say, chance to speak up and speak your truth. Oh my goodness. All right, this is a big weekend here for some people. The Hierophant's here. So somebody's getting a chance to put something right. This is something that's um, a brand new start that's long term. It's stable. It's um, oh, This is divine order, divine timing. Something very important is about to hit here, people. I have the Three of Cups here, and the Three of Cups talks about celebrating. It talks about, um, you know, celebrating something happening, celebrating with your family and friends. Um, okay, for some of you, somebody may have left a third party behind and is moving towards you. So if you've been waiting for someone to do that, that's possible. Um Something's definitely being put right in the universe. I'm almost scared to take the next card. Something you walked away from in the past. Okay. Something is going to be revealed to you because we have this moon here and we have the sun here. Something is being, the universe is bringing something back around um, for it to be brought to light, to be cleared up for some understanding and to move forward in a much more structured, organized way. But definitely things being righted. And then we have the hanged man. This is all nearly major arcanas, this reading. I love these because I think, wow, the universe just said, you know, we've given everybody enough opportunity. You haven't acted on it. That may not be you. It may be someone else you're involved with. But the universe is now stepping in. It's time. It's time here. So we have the hanged man here. So this may be how you're feeling at the moment. Um certainly you know over this situation you may have left this situation behind you may have learned to sort of let it go um, but it's always sat there and you've always wondered what would have happened where was the clarity you know you never got answers that you were waiting for and there's this sort of like feeling that you um, have always been a little bit you've always had this little sort of feeling in the back of your mind that it wasn't finished or it wasn't done because the universe is now saying it needs to be finished off. We don't like unfinished business. We want justice here. We want justice for both of you. We want judgment. So definitely bringing in something here. Oh, and it's stability. So from this, from this truth, from this moving forward, from this opportunity, I don't really know where it's going yet, but I can tell you that whatever it leaves you with is a feeling of, that absolute closure, that stability. It brings you stability just knowing here. So somebody's going to sort of bring in a truth that's going to bring you into, oh, there's an offer. Okay, I was wondering if it was something to do with love here because there wasn't really anything about love up until this point. So somebody's coming in to make an offer. Maybe someone's coming in. There's nothing about an apology, but the Ace of Swords at the beginning could talk about someone coming to say sorry. Um, but what I feel like here is somebody coming in to tell you why. Why they walked away, why they left you behind, why things happened the way they did. Now, not necessarily love for some people, but the situation is you're going to get another go at something that you didn't get off the ground before. And it may have always left you wondering whether it was going to work or not. And I can tell you now, something in this situation will lead you to understanding more about why this happened and why things went the way they did. Because I feel like you've always had this sort of sticking point here of, you know, did should this have worked out? Should it not? What did I do right? What didn't I? That sort of feeling. I've got no twos here, but definitely has this feeling of going backwards and forwards and could I have done it differently? But I can tell you, once this truth is open to you, it's almost like it brings in this beautiful feeling of stability. You know, the Hierophant and the Four of Wands always say to me that it brings back some sort of organisation out of something chaotic. 
I'm still nervous about turning the next card over. It's the Hermit. So you have like five major arcanas in a five card in a ten card reading, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six major arcanas in a ten card reading. So something the universe is plotting and planning here, but I can tell you, whatever this is, is probably going to leave you in a bit of a spin after it's happened. I feel like even though you're getting answers here that you possibly have wanted for a really long time, it's still going to confuse you and put you into this situation. So maybe, I know sometimes, and, and they're sort of bringing this thought into my head here, sometimes we get an answer and you go, was that it? Is that it? And you think, I've waited all this time. My life has been in turmoil. I've been through the grieving process. And now you come in and tell me that, and that's it? <laughs> and then there's this like feeling that you've been ripped off because you've ripped yourself off waiting when in fact it, there was nothing. So you might have, you know, read a million and one things into something and there might have only been one small reason. So keep that in mind too. Um, but whatever it is, it's going to leave you with this sort of, oh, there we go. It's going to leave you with this... Um, I don't know, this peaceful feeling. It's like I've got the answer now. I can move on. I feel at peace. It's only, you know, it was something I've worried about for such a long time and now I don't need to worry anymore. Now, the card you've got out here is the card of Maynard. And Maynard is, um, they're the female priestesses of the gods Dionysus, maddened by the fruits of the vine and given the space of ritual. They descend into a ritual ecstasy. So, um, the card talks about madness, ecstatic ritual and energy relief. And it says in the blessing, it's safe for you to give way of feelings of intense bliss and happiness, even excitement. Feeling deeply and allowing yourself to be swept up in the rapture is a beautiful thing to you experience at this time. It is safe to let this happen under the current circumstances. So I feel like whatever this is here, it's an enormous relief for you. Um, it, it, it's... I can't even explain it really. I'm trying very, very hard to try and get it right for you so you understand. But it's like this feeling of, was that it? I've been waiting for years, months, whatever, to understand why this particular situation happened. And now this is what you're telling me. And it's like it just releases something in you because you come back to this beautiful stability where you are able to now move on with your life, understanding. You know, when you have those like encounters with people and you walk away thinking, why did they say that to me? That was really hurtful. You know, did I do this? Did I do that? Was I like this? Was I horrible and nasty? Did I deserve that? You know, and you make this big thing. And then later on, you find the courage to go and say to that person, you know, what happened? What did I do? And they go, oh, nothing. I was just having a bad morning. And you think, oh, my God, I've beaten myself up for days on that, thinking that you, you, I'd done something to you. That sort of feeling. That's what I've got in front of me this morning for your what's cracking. Let me know, people. Thanks.